Goudou 4.0 reaches beta. The first beta for the much anticipated release of Goudou 4.0 is now ready and available for download. Today I'm going to be taking a look to Goudou 4.0 and obviously I am going to give my opinion. Remember that this is not the final version, this is this is just a beta. So there, are, there might be some errors or things that doesn't work or even more things that will be added soon. So now let's start. First of all, we are here in the Goudou official website and uh, here we have the next big step, Goudou 4.0 reaches beta and uh, we have here some information and uh, here are the changes that comes uh, that come with uh, this new version here is the list of all of the changes but uh, today i'm going to be talking about the most important to download this new version you have to scroll down until uh, the end of the website and uh, here you will find the download section uh, the downloads for this beta can be found directly on our repository uh, you can as usual uh, download the standard build gd script and gd extension and c sharp and uh, this is like the mono version i think so i'm going to click in uh, standard build and then i have a good job uh, version 4.0 beta 1 this is for android as you can see android editor from this list you select uh, your your um, your device in my case uh, windows so i'm going to click here as usual this is just a dot zip file that uh, when you extract you will have uh, the Goudou engine and that thing that I don't know what what is. So uh, it's opening. It's taking a while to to load. Oh, it crashed. Uh, okay, no, it didn't crash. Uh, okay, it's in Spanish. I don't know why. So let's put it in English. Uh, yeah. So now, yes, it should be in English. Okay, perfect. Uh, we have this interface. Uh, maybe it's different uh, here you have other buttons uh, they are really nice uh, we have no projects i have some projects created with Goudou but i don't know why they don't appear here so let's just create a new project oh i really like this uh, animation um let's put like i don't know a uh, Goudou, Goudou 4 uh, we're just going to create a new folder there in the documents and uh, now um, the renderer of Goudou is Vulkan. We can use Vulkan Clustered or something like that. And Vulkan Mobile. Uh, I'm just going to, um, to leave this because I think it's the default option. And here we have version control metadata uh, git or none. Oh, so maybe there is an integration with git or something like that. I'm just going to put a none because I don't want anything of this. And I'm just going to create the project. Mm, it's taking a while. Uh, okay. Oh, I really like uh, this, this new theme. Uh, these new colors are nice. The buttons are also different. Uh, we have uh, in the in the file system, we have other uh, like these thing, things. I don't know how to call them. So let's just create a 2D scene. Oh, I really like this interface. Uh, I'm going to rename this uh, to, I don't know, like a Goudot, Goudot 4 again. I think that you can't use any more uh, visual scripting. You can use a C sharp. Uh, but I'm just going to create a new script. I, I love this animation. I love these animations. Uh, language GD script uh, inherits no 2D. Yes, class name template. Uh, what? What is this? Note default object empty. Uh, let's leave uh, the default built in script. I know what this is. Path. That's okay. Uh, 
Built-in scripts have some limitations and can't be edited using external editors. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so let's just create a new script. Okay, this is, uh, I think, yes, it's uh, the same as as the as the previous script template. Uh, I don't know, but I think the the font is different. Yes, it's different. I really like this font, but everything is too laggy. You see, uh, sometimes it crashes or or uh, does strange things. Also, I'm just going to uh, create a new node. Uh, these animations are incredible. <laughs> um, and I'm going to create here, for example, a uh, yes, other node to D. Uh, rename it to uh, subscribe. So yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to create a new script. I'm going to use the template uh, object empty and use a built-in script that I don't know what this is. Okay, it's just an empty script, but I don't know what is a built-in script. I don't know what that is. And you can see the icon. It's quite different. Mm, this script is quite strange because you can see the name of the script. I put a... I put like subscribe or something like that. I don't I don't understand what this is really. So here I will just try to make a hello world uh, to see if uh, everything is working just fine. Print print orphan notes print tree print. I don't know if <laughs> these options of print uh, used to exist. So I'm just going to use uh, the normal print and here I'm going to put uh, the message like hello world. Then I'm going to execute the game, uh, select current. Uh, everything is too laggy, you know? Uh, this is taking hours to, to run, I don't know why. So now, yes, we have here our hello world. And we have um, a warning, but I think because uh, of the delta, it, it should be, yes. It's because of the delta, and if I uh, play again, this error yes of course it shouldn't appear again the output window is also different we have here uh, i don't know this is toggle visibility of standard output messages here is the errors and here is the warnings and this thing is a uh, total visibility of atron messages so i'm just going to try a, a few more things for example i'm going to create a variable i don't know uh, for example, a uh, message, and I'm going to put here, uh, I don't know, a uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, here a uh, bar message, and uh, I'm going to put also that it's a, a string variable, and now I'm going to print out uh, this message i'm just testing that eh, here you can see it doesn't auto complete my my variable so let's do that and uh oh it prints nothing i don't know why here you can see the names match it's the same it's a string uh, here is a message and i don't know why it doesn't print uh, let's test, for example, uh, the process, uh, the process, the mm, the the autocomplete works awful, awful. And I'm going to print. Uh, I'm going to try to print uh, this message. Now I'm going to execute. No, nothing happens. Uh, it says here output overflow. Print less text. So it's printing, but it's not showing. Mm, but in the ready, it doesn't print. You can see here is nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm, it's quite... I don't understand, actually. I don't understand why in the process uh, it says... Uh, I know what it said, but like it can't print. But in the ready, it doesn't print when I, when I want to use a variable. Uh, for example, let's try to print uh, just a string, but with a for loop. For example, for e in range 
uh, let's say three. Um, for example, uh, I don't know, print. Uh, subscribe to the channel. The same one as in the message, so, so maybe there's a problem in the message, I don't know. What? It doesn't print. And with other message like hello, uh, it doesn't work. Or if, for example, if I am not inside the for loop, uh, let's try for example, uh, hello again. Okay, let's try. No, it doesn't print. Let's try. Uh, we know capital letters uh, like this and see if it works no nope, it doesn't work so i don't know uh, if it is maybe because of uh, there are a lot of prints you know print orphan note print three print g uh, <laughs> it's quite messy i think the user interface is incredible i really like it I think there are more features regarding to a uh, multiplayer, like for example, multiplayer spawner, a uh, multiplayer synchronizer, and here are other things like window or sub viewport. Um, I don't know what these things are. There are some improvements with uh, rigid bodies, like with the physics engine. Also, the interface here in the notes, in the inspector, actually, it's quite different. We have here bold fonts and the font, I think, is different as well. And uh, here we have uh, like other other things like it's uh, everything is just different, you know. So to sum up things, I really liked all the user interface. It's incredible. Uh, these hover effects. Uh, I really like them, or for example, in the inspector, uh, these uh, hover effects are, are incredible. The new theme, the font, and everything related to user interface, it's incredible. As it's a beta, uh, things uh, really don't work uh, really good. You can see, for example, in the array function that uh, this doesn't work or um for example when i tried to in the process it doesn't work properly i think and also everything is too laggy but this is just a beta and i think uh, maybe in a couple of months or maybe in a couple of weeks we will have other beta of Godot and uh, some things will be changed and others obviously will be uh, optimized because uh, it's too laggy everything i know there are also some changes uh, about uh, physics uh, about um, shaders and about other things but uh, to do that i recommend you to uh, just read uh, over um, this article that i will be leaving the link in the description and here you can see all the all the things that change. For example, the rendering. Uh, the rendering is quite more complex now. Um, here uh, there are the the shaders I was talking before. Uh, the physics. Uh, whoa, let, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, some things uh, about animations. Uh, the scripting. That visual scripting uh, doesn't exist anymore now. Uh, C sharp and a lot of things that if you want to know about Godot 4, I would recommend you to uh, read read all this because there's a lot of information. Or here at the beginning, uh, there are some videos. Uh, let me find them. Yes, here and here is everything uh, perfectly explained. But maybe a lot of changes are about complex things. And you know, I always make games in 2D, so I am not going to explain things about uh, things too complex because I don't know about them. That's why I recommend you to read uh, this article or uh, obviously you can watch these videos as well. In conclusion,